and this is actually not I'm not like it's not a weekend or anything like I'm off work sick and I wanted to do something to make myself feel better and excited to do a little blogging because that always makes me feel a little better and I as you can see like my skin is just not having it and it hasn't been having it for like a month and I think it was the fact that I kept changing around my foundations and that just like fucked up my skin royally so I'm still testing more <laughs> I'm testing more and we'll see what happens with I did this one look for a theme day at MAC recently do you like my random plant? Hey! Hey, but It was very different from everything I usually do in that it wasn't a very structured, smoky eye. It was a very chaotic, very messy kind of smoky eye, grungy, but it was just all glitter. Like, all glitter. If you do not like glitter, then you need to GTFO because this is not for you. But I loved it. So, let's go ahead and get started while I pick out a, a mirror from my box of treats. Because this is glittery as fuck, I'm going to start off with a primer and I'm going to do my eye makeup first and then I'll do my face afterwards. And I'm tightening my little thing, my little pop palette, which is a godsend if you are a makeup artist or you're just a person who doesn't like touching their makeup with their bare hands when they're sick. The reason I wanted to film also is the fact that I usually don't get a ton of decent lighting when I do get to film. It's usually at night and I have to use a ring light and the ring light isn't very like believable. I have to figure out my lighting situation. I'm taking the MAC Burgundy Times 9 palette I'm mainly going to be using this shade right here, which is called Sketch. is one of my favorite colors ever, and I actually like the formulation in this palette a little better than the single lash. Just good old-fashioned. Just a good old-fashioned 217, and I'm going to start with Ho. That name of that eyeshadow is going to get me in trouble one day. I just know it. And I'm just going to very lightly start working it in the crease. And remember, because it's very messy, we're not necessarily establishing a shape of the eyeshadow or anything like that. It's literally just so that when we add the shimmer, it doesn't just look like it stops at a very blunt line. Then I'm going to run a little bit underneath. And this look is going to go pretty far down on the eye. It's going to be very messy, like I didn't get enough sleep last night. I literally came home from the club, kind of look. Now it really looks like I'm sick. So next, what I'm going to do is in my little very classy shot glass of water that I have in this setup down here, I'm going to get this thing soaked, like completely wet. Like this is soaking wet, so I'm literally just going, ah, fuck. I'm literally just dumping it into the eyeshadow and getting it soaking hard. So we've got our brush loaded with shimmer. Literally just put it everywhere. Like do not discriminate, do not do not stop I go, do not collect two hundred dollars. Just everywhere. And this purple has a bit of a red undertone to it, which is why you can kind of see the red peeking out at the edges of the, the shimmer. And that's another thing that really gives it that hazy, sexy, grungy, messy. See how many adjectives I can fit in here, that look. And I'm actually gonna go a little bit above the crease with this. And as I go up, I'm applying it lighter, so I'm not going as heavy, I'm not Kind of focusing on that red tint that it leaves behind. But applying it above the crease is actually part of that whole effect that I want to create. So I'm like, that's why I'm doing that. Then I'm taking a 209 
I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to dip it in water, dip it in the pressed pigment, and I'm going to go in underneath the eye. So just a lot harder to do when it's like on camera. So I'm doing that kind of thing on both sides. Just like that. And I'm also going to bring it in here. I'm going back in with that first brush, that 217, that is considerably clean off that edge. You can see how that shimmer is like looking very messy, very grungy. I don't know why, but I love this look, like, I'm in love with it. I know it's not clean, it's not something that you would wear to work or school or even out really if you're not into this sort of thing but um a mac 233 which has a synthetic side and a, a natural side dip it in water same same principle this one though i'm gonna dip it into moth press pigment which is this one i'm going to take on moth press pigment which is another purple but it's a lot taking moth press pigment i'm literally gonna just pat it in the center of my eye and kind of dab it out all the way up to the top and so what this does is it reflects more light in the center of my eye and gives it a more rounded appearance just like that. if you feel like it's not blending nicely enough just go back in with that first brush blend the edges We're going to blend everything again at the end, but you just want the whole lid to dry before you do anything like that. Put a little bit in the inner corner and a little bit down here. And I know this looks like super haggard right now and super crazy, but it'll look better soon. Now the shadow I initially used for this look when I first, first, first did it was a light touch but i lent that out to a friend so i don't have it with me so we're gonna use cosmic which they're similar in a way it's just cosmic has less color payoff it's more just straight up sparkle so i'm gonna use it right on that inner corner pop it right there and you want that to be super super intense and because it is looking a little stark in comparison what I did that day was I worked it up actually towards that eye look. Does that make sense? So I worked it up towards the lid. And that also helps give it like a very hazy, sparkly. I'm going to let it dry a little bit while I do the rest of my makeup and then we'll go back and fine tune it. So do you see how cool that looks? It's very simple to do. It's a very easy smoky eye and it looks very trendy. I just, I really like it. I'm taking Marc Jacobs highliner and blacker. Got this as my birthday present from Sephora. I'm going to tight line with it. It's actually an excellent black eyeliner. Like surprisingly good. If you wanted to, you could apply lashes. I'm not going to. I'm going to actually just smudge a little bit of this on the outer corners just on the lower lash line and a little bit on the top I'm gonna go back in with the 209 and just go over it like so just to give this a more hazy sexy look Now we really just have some details to take care of, so I'm going to take my current favorite bronzer brush, the MAC 135. It's a nice, flat, paddle goat hair brush. My favorite bronzer, which is like dying, <laughs> and I don't know what I'm going to do when it runs out. This is MAC's In Extra Dimension Bronzer 
in Delphic. And it came out with a Learn Aquatic. I'm just going to use it to kind of sculpt out my face a little. A little bit of my favorite blush ever, which is also going, has never been re-promoted and I'm kind of dying about it. This is MAC Extra Dimension Blush in Seduced at Sea. Also from Allure Aquatic, that collection ruined my That dusted my cheeks. I always need a little more on camera than you do in real life. Like in real life, this looks like it's plenty. But. This is a finished look. I hope you guys like it. I, I'm really happy with it. And I really like how it turned out. So I hope you guys like it too. Let me bring you in for the eyes.